Probably the most common complaint I hear is that people feel they have too much on their plate and no matter how much they try, they just can't seem to get everything done. And they either burn themselves out trying and or they just constantly feel defeated and dejected. Today I am talking about how to stop overloading your schedule and sharing four different ways to avoid burnout. Let's go. Hi guys, it's Laura from How To Get Your Shit Together and I help people get organized, get motivated and stop feeling so stressed out all the time. And there are at least four different ways you can do it, so let's go through each one, starting with one, alternate tasks. There are four different types of tasks and once you understand them, you'll know how to mix them up for maximum efficiency. There are those that take up a lot of mental energy, like studying, those that take up a lot of physical energy, like a fitness class or gardening, those that require very little of either, so maybe reading or watching something purely for entertainment value, and those that require both, like anything involving children or being a contestant on the crystal maze. To avoid feeling run down, you need to be alternating between them so that, for example, you're not doing too much physical activity in a row or too many mental tasks, because that is how you end up burning out. So look at each of the tasks on your to-do list, decide what type of task it is, and then mix them up so that your brain can be resting while your body's working and vice versa. Two, take rest breaks. Don't think that you can just keep endlessly alternating between physical and mental tasks. At some point, your entire body is going to need a break. So you need to factor in the things that take minimal physical and mental effort into your day. I know it's really easy to pack your day full of tasks, especially when you're feeling you know, particularly motivated or you just have a lot of shit to do. But the reality is that you need some time to recharge your batteries, even if it's just for a few minutes, so that you have the energy to keep going throughout the day and you won't just eventually completely run out of juice. And take them before you feel you need them or even if you don't feel you need them at all. Taking regular breaks helps you keep going throughout the day. It keeps your tank topped up so you're not running on empty. Trying to push yourself to work right through. Good luck trying to get out of bed and be human tomorrow. Three, add in buffer time. I regularly hear from people who feel that they have too much on their plate, especially when unexpected events crop up. This is why buffer time is so important. Never assume that something is only going to take you a certain amount of time. Allow for things to run a little bit over. Allow for interruptions and distractions. Allow for extra traffic and delayed appointments and meetings that run later than they were supposed to. Leave yourself a lot of wiggle room so that when those unexpected things do crop up, and they will, they don't completely derail your entire day. And if everything somehow runs smoothly, you've just bagged yourself an extra few minutes in bed bonus. I have a post over on the site about how to say no in the nicest way possible, so if you struggle with other people piling work on top of you, then go check that out. It's got four different ways to decline extra responsibility without being a dick. I'll link it below. And finally, four. Add in catch-up time. If you always feel like you're falling behind with everything, it's probably because you're not giving yourself the time to catch up, so change that. I do this every single week. Each week I set aside at least one if not two afternoons just to catch up on things that I am falling behind on. Buffer time is great for snatching back a few minutes here and there but inevitably something big lands in our laps. We forget about that birthday party that we said we would organize, we forget about that project we promised to turn in this week or we run out of clean clothes and have to spend loads of time arse deep in laundry, or like me right now, we get sick and then all of a sudden we're on a serious go slow. Shit happens, you know? So set aside some catch up time during your week. I usually like to do it on a Wednesday or Thursday afternoon so that I'm not running late for an entire week before I can write myself. Um, and then I'll add in a catch up afternoon on a Friday or Saturday as well if it's a particularly busy week. And those four tricks are going to be the difference between you being deadly and you being dead to the world. 
And that is a wrap. Thumbs up if you have ever felt that things were just getting a little too much. Comment below and let me know what is the biggest struggle that you have when it comes to setting a realistic schedule. For me, it's probably my daughter. You know, all of those kind of unexpected play dates that crop up last minute or when she's sick or just needs some extra attention, all those sorts of things. And just a heads up that I am about to completely overhaul my e-course, The Productivity Power Up, which includes all of this information and much, much more about how to plan your most productive day. It includes things like how to hack your to-do list for maximum efficiency and how to delegate effectively without being a nag, which by the by are both extra excellent ways that you can avoid burnout. The link to the course is in the description box. Like I said, it is about to be completely revamped, so hop on board now and you will get immediate access to all of those updates as soon as they go live at no extra charge. All future updates are included in the current price, so go lock that in now. Link in the description. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already for more tips and advice on how you can get your shit together. I upload a new video every single Thursday. The button looks like this and you will find it down there and click the little bell beside it to turn on notifications so that you will know every time I upload a new video. Until next time, Gura Mila Magwe, Akasvekimeshif Shikalua, Slon!